to Handmade with me, Marianne, and a little bit of a departure from our usual videos. So a lot of you guys probably know Danielle. She's on my team. She shows up in my videos occasionally. She of the glorious mane of blonde hair. Well, she is getting married, like, like now, in an hour. And her wedding, of course, since she works for HGTV, is filled with handmade elements and thoughtful design and lots of budget saving tips and tricks. So before we kick this thing off, I thought you guys might enjoy a little behind the scenes peek. Cause this is gonna be a pretty great party. Come on, wanna see? Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna start off at the beginning and you may recognize this. That's right, this is the crib that we turned into a sandwich board sign. And doesn't it look so pretty? We may or may not have made it with this exact event in mind. Um, and then Danielle was so clever. She made these little local honey favors, little jars of honey. Now you can buy these already jarred, but they can be really expensive. So she bought a huge jar of local honey and then decanted it into these little jars herself, tied it with a little tag that says much love. So sweet, such a good idea. Over here, you can see uh, Danielle's wedding book. So this is such a good idea. Instead of buying those pre-made wedding books, which are fine, but you know, they're not very personal. She made a beautiful photo book of her engagement pictures with her fiance, Caleb, and everyone can go through and sign next to a picture, which I think is such a great idea. And plus they're like the best pictures ever. Oh, and you might've noticed we have a rug down here. This was just a really great idea. She brought it from home, kind of cozies up the atmosphere and defines this space. Do you wanna see more? Let's go this way. So, a lot of people think when they are planning a wedding, the most important thing is their dress or their pictures. Wrong. The most important thing is actually considering it the comfort of your guests. After all, you want everyone to leave thinking not only how romantic and beautiful it was, but how awesome that party was. So when Danielle found out that it was going to be a little unseasonably cool and rainy, she brought these stacks of blankets from home so that her guests could snuggle up and wrap them around and just, it creates such a cozy atmosphere. You know, no wedding is complete without dessert. And Danielle and Caleb are not big cake people, so they're going to have cheesecakes. But something cool they did over here was collect mismatched china dessert plates. They had friends and family collect them. They kind of scoured thrift stores for them. And then also over here, this sign is one of the frames we found at the world's longest yard sale, along with the crib. Do you guys see how all this ties together? We actually do have a plan sometimes. Shocking, I know. And then I'm gonna talk a lot about the florals, but something I love that they did is used a lot of forage stuff. The bulk of these flowers were free, like literally from her yard, with just a few roses and some stock and some zinnias thrown in for color. So pretty, but well, let's head to the table. All right, so now we are up at the table and Danielle and Caleb are having a pretty small wedding, which obviously is a great way to keep things on a budget, but they didn't just stop with the number on the guest list. This incredible garland was completely free. That's right, two industrious friends and a lot of yard clippings. And we have this beautiful, rich looking garland for exactly zero dollars. Some other, you know, cost saving things. Place cards are on magnolia leaves. The plates and the napkins are from Ikea. In fact, the napkins are just dish towels. And only a few things were rented, just the silverware and the goblets. I'm gonna light some candles and have this party. Oh, and one more thing. Instead of having, you know, a special chair to sit in, we have this incredible 
what would we call this? Arrangement hanging on the wall? A wall arrangement, is that a thing? We're gonna make wall arrangements a thing. So once again, we have a lot of just materials gathered from outdoors with just a few flowers in there. Danielle only bought two buckets of flowers for this whole wedding, which definitely, I mean, she got a lot of bang for her buck. And then lastly, they made a really adorable watercolor thank you card. It's got some sweet words on the back and a really pretty little watercolor of the beautiful garden where we are right now. All right guys, the food is arriving. I see the bride. I think it's time to get this wedding on the road, but I wanna hear from you guys. Do you love a good wedding? Do they make you cry? Leave a crying emoji in the comments if weddings make you cry. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe, and uh, I better get to this wedding. <laughs>